Now, KLBK's first warning weather with meteorologist Jack Maney. Today's looking like it's going to be another comfortable day outside, but cloud cover might keep it just a little bit gloomy, especially through the morning. You can see outside from our tower cam right now that we are quite well socked in with very, very saturated air here at the surface in Lubbock. We are actually at our dew point temperature. We usually don't see those two temperatures actually meet up, but with that, with those two at 60 degrees, we are now at 100% saturation with our relative humidity value of 100%, a southeast wind of 11 miles per hour, and you can see mist and fog out there developing with low cloud cover as well. It looks like it has improved just a little bit as far as visibility just from that tower cam shot there in the last five to ten minutes but still you could definitely expect some patchy fog out there especially in cooler valleys where there isn't quite as much wind so make sure that you are taking it easy on the roadways this morning just in case you run into any patches of reduced visibility temperatures holding steady right around the 60 degree mark across the region with a few mid 60s out towards the east there have been a few little patches of drizzle but they're hardly showing up at all on radar and we are not going to be seeing any real substantial rainfall out of this today just a couple patches of drizzle fog around this morning could get down as low as 58 degrees but not going to cool very much from where we are right now by noon 68 degrees cloud cover should still be holding tough and by the afternoon we get, will get a little bit more sunshine by around four o'clock high temperature of 74 degrees despite the cloud cover we will be having a nice mild one and then by the time polls close at seven o'clock tonight 70 degrees partly cloudy skies. There's a look at your temperatures for across the region. Most of us will be reaching the lower to middle 70s, few 60s here and there, but also might even tap the low 80s out in the rolling plains with up to 80 degrees expected possibly in Jayton. So we are going to have some warmer spots out there today as well. Those clouds will start to clear out. You can see a few, little bit of that patchy drizzle showing up on our future radar. Then that starts to clear out. We should see fairly rapid clearing during the afternoon hours from west to east. More sun sunshine expected out west and then those clouds will pull free then tomorrow looks like you can see yet another wave of cloud cover and fog spreading over the region it looks like another gray start to your wednesday is on the way we're kind of in between two in between a storm system out to our west, high pressure to the east. That's kind of funneling a little bit of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico up into our region right now. And as we continue going into the rest of this week, that low is going to be swinging by, bringing our first initial cool down on Thursday. And then we'll get that first shot. And then the chaser comes in over the weekend with another cold front expected to dive in by Saturday. And it looks like that's when we'll probably be seeing our first freeze of the year with that second cold front bringing in some cooler temperatures and the outlook in the long term continues to favor very cool conditions below average temperatures across the entire United States with one tiny little exception right way down there in the tip of Florida. And also speaking of Florida, we are also going to be seeing some interesting things happening in the tropics because we've got a tropical system forming down there. Nicole is actually expected to come on shore near hurricane strength on the east coast of Florida later on around Thursday of this week. And so we are going to be keeping a track on that, though thankfully this one should stay a little bit more on the weak side. It will be a very large, broad storm. Those typically don't have as much of a rapid strengthening potential. So it looks like we'll be keeping things active in the longer term with lots of cool downs. That first one arriving on Thursday. Windy conditions expected tomorrow and on Thursday as well. On Veterans Day, we'll be down in the 50s, but lots of sunshine expected to close out the week. Another cold front coming in Friday and into Saturday. We'll probably knock our low temperatures down into the upper 20s to lower 30s, and that should get us to our first freeze of the year by the weekend. So it looks like it's going to be quite a bit cooler going forward for the next few days. Might want to start breaking out those winter clothes. Now your KLBK Sports Connection is coming up next. Don't go away.